Hi everybody and welcome back to Sciar Shop channel. Okay guys, thanks for watching me today. This is a quick tutorial on how to make a cone, um, uh, um, edible food cone um, for a uh, ice cream. So without further ado, let me show you how you would do that. Now we need some um, air dry clay and I have some here and I'm just going to knead it and uh, get it nice and soft and once I've done that which I'm happy with I'm just going to flatten it out as much as I can because we need to roller it because we're going to make it into a cone okay so we need to need to make it more like rectangly I think is the word rectangly yeah rectangle and uh, square sort of shape so um what i will do next is just pop that on there and now i'm going to roll it now um if you've watched some of my other tutorials you'll know that i uh, reuse things so this particular roller um that i'm going to use is was an acrylic sealant that i um used for another tutorial so i'm just going to use that to roll it so it's got another use you can see there so that's all i do is i just roll that through and don't worry if there's any sort of indentations or anything like that on it because that just adds to the effect so you don't have to be too perfect with this guys and you, and you don't want it too thick and you don't want it too thin i know that's not very good is it because you don't know what that means but i'll show you in a moment it's this you want it about that thick okay you know what I mean what I'm saying you do you do that's great okay so what I need to do next is um you will need a cone to um place this clay on and I've made one earlier and here it is here and it's made out of uh you know an old paper and I've just stuck it down with some tape and uh I'm going to wrap this around it eventually once i've done the imprint of the, the design i want but i just wanted to show you that's what it's going to go on so you need to make the bottom flat so that you can sit it down like that and if you can imagine the air dry clay will be wrapped around it in some shape or form like so okay right the next thing i need to do is put in some indentations and i've got a stick and all i'm going to do is just push it down like so you see what i'm doing there roughly the same width the part okay just like so and now i'm going to do it the other way just pop it on like so And again, that's all you need to do just to get it to look like a cone, which it will do, guys, I promise you. Okay, so how easy was that? Very, very quick. Okay, so next, all I do is pick it up. And what we're going to do is try and wrap it around there. So I think the best way to do this is flip it over and then just sort of wrap it. I might cut some of this off, so I'm just going to see how much I've got to play with. I quite like this up there, because that's very organic. But the only trouble I've got, if we if we do that, when I put this down on the desk to get it, it will push that out slightly. So well, perhaps that'll be okay, I don't know. Okay, I'm thinking on my heat, uh, feed here, guys. Okay, so what am I going to do is I'm going to just see how much we've got. So this is excess here. So all I'm going to do is cut that off like so, but we're not going to see this bit because I'm going to do it around the other way and I'll show you what I mean in a second. Let me take that back out. So I'm going to start from this end and just wrap it around the best I can. A little bit fiddly guys, but bear with, bear with. Okay, and then you can push that down like so. 
and you can push that in a bit as well. So see what I mean? You got a lovely comb going on there. And uh, I was, I said that was good at the top where it was a bit organic. And even when I put this down, that's going to push that little bit there down. And I'm not going to worry too much about that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is slightly mess about with it because it just gives it a bit of character with the top if I mess about with that. And am I ha happy with the bottom? Not quite. I need to get it to meet a bit better there. So I'm just going to push that in and wrap that around. Okay. And I might just flick that back through. Okay. Just like so. And now I'm just going to put it down like so and make sure it's in a, a cone shape. Which it is. Lovely, isn't it? Absolutely marvellous. I'm going to push that in a bit. Okay. And uh, pop that out slightly. Just to give it a bit of character. And that, as I say, I think is it. So how easy was that, guys? So look at, look at that edge. It's very organic along there. So, you know, if it came out of a factory, it'd probably be really neat. But if you're making your own like some people do, um, it would be very organic. And that is very organic. So I'm going to leave all that like that because I like it. Okie dokie, pig and a pokey. Um, right, let's put that down. So that's it in a nutshell, guys. You just need to let that dry for two to three days until it's hard. And then you would take out the, the uh, paper cone and uh, then fill it with goodies and uh, on the next tutorial is um, going to be how we actually do that so keep watching all my tutorials on this and you'll see how to make uh, an ice cream cone with ice cream and luxury things on the top that you would normally have and sauce and even a flake a capris flake if you know what that is and uh, yes it's all clever stuff guys so Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, bye bye for now.